not sleep. And if you think that you were, because you're a woman, you will sleep and get it. It's not true. Let me, let me, let me try and be very political. One woman who has inspired me so much, the famous Yasantua. And this evening I want to start off with this. I think it was March 28, 1800. Asante Kingdom had assembled. The chiefs were knew that there was crisis ruling. Why? Because the then governor, George Hudson, had dead already taken Pemper the first and 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 his people into exile. And he had come in full force and said, I will sit on the golden stool of the Ashantis. I will take it away. And Ashantis knew that the golden stool was symbolic of their soul. Taking it away meant killing them. The chief's men, they sat there, they didn't know what to do. They were frightened, they were angry. But there was this withery 50 year old woman, the queen of Ejiso, who stood. And I'm quoting this, Eric. Now I see that some of you fear to go forward to fight for our king. In the brave days of, of 32, of Kampanachi and Okokuwari, chiefs would not sit down to see their king to be taken away without fighting back, without fighting. No European could have dared speak to chiefs of Asante in all the way the governor spoke to you this morning. Is it true that the bravery of Asante is no more? I cannot believe it. It cannot be. I must say, the men of Asante will not go forward. Then we women will. We the women will. I shall call upon my fellow women. We will fight. We will fight till the last of us falls in the battlefield. So, Yasantua led what is historically known as the Yasantua War. They fought. They marched to the force. The wives ran away. They went into hiding. They had to call for reinforcement from outside. And eventually they won the war. Not because Yasantua and his people, uh, people were weak, but because of superior weapons. This was a woman who responded to the call of her people. This is the woman who was brave enough to say that it's time for us to go. This was a woman who would not sit and have her people trampled upon. This was a woman who led women in politics. 1800. Yes, I'm close to that. 